down here. Can you can okay. you go on those things at all? Apparently you cannot. Okay. Well, let's go. Yeah, let's go up there. Can can you go in that thing, or nope. what about going around it? Do you, see how there's a little walkway around it? Yep. Nothing. But, okay. So I guess that's all that's up here is just a switch. Yep. So that's the rocket, and then down here. Yeah, there's another building down there. So, so yeah, that here's clock a building. Place. Well, here's a building as well. And then this right here, a PS gauge. So, and I kind of remember this. So basically, there's a up up here. Uh, I kind of remember that guy, but over here. There, yeah. So if we get the code right and build up enough pressure, it'll raise this up and it'll be a room. From what I remember. So that's its own little puzzle there. So we got a safe to find there. Something to do with this here. And then Is it? Yeah, you have to get the pressure to a certain level, I'm sure. But you probably have to get in that safe to get the You know what I mean? All right. There's got to be another little note somewhere. Okay. So, Wait, is there something behind that door? Or? Evidently not. See that? Nope. Must just be like spider web or something. Alright, so the clock thing down here. So this... So I think this is turning the big hand and the little hand kind of a bitch. You can't look at it. So well, turn up, turn up, and then go look it back. You know, turn one of them. All right, so that's the small hand. Yeah. So two o'clock. Yep. And then that's the minute. So, so we need to figure out a time, a page with time. And I think all that we do for these locations, and I think it's, I think it's just do this. So we got the spaceship. Now we want to okay. find out about what? Okay, it, yeah, says, look. it says the gears or something. So let's go see what the gears are. All right. Yeah, because we were up there before. Yeah, maybe that's what you have to do at each one. Get a, get a little hint. This is our hint. Yeah. Right? It's it's not a bad vibe. Not, yeah, that's what you have, to, you have to go to each thing, and then there's a hint or a clue or something. Let's see what we get here for the gears. What's our hint about what the gears are? Okay, that's nothing. 240, 241. Okay. 221's the combination and 240 is the time. Alright, you got your pen and paper? Yeah, I'll write it down. 240. Yep. And 221 is the combo. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Alright, and then I'll go back and we'll just go ahead and see what the other hints are now. We'll just have a big book of fucking hints. See, I never, I never put that together in my first playthrough either. I was just kind of like wandering, bashing yeah. my head against the puzzles. Okay. Okay, so that's the, that's the time travel. Let's go see what that's about. Sometimes these games aren't too bad once you figure out oh, something yeah. little. Oh, Just oh, like oh. when I, on Resident Evil, when I went through that, you know, the mansion and the underground, and, you know, back and forth and everything, and finally figured out how to, or just by accident, I figured out how to. Whoa, 
straight dates for the time machine, Grandpa. Yeah. All right. Whoa. I never October got this. I'd never seen this October shit. October 11th, 1984. 10.04 a.m. 10, 10 uh, January 17th, 12.07, 5.46 hang on, hang on. Okay. And 11.23, 97.91, wow. Yeah, right. Uh, 6.57 p.m. Okay. All right, got those. Time for the next riddle. Oh, shit. It's kind of cheating using the paper, but there's a lot of shit to remember. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the, the tree tower. So let's yeah. go see what's up with the tree tower. I never did this. This is crazy. I'm like actually figuring it out. It's blowing my mind. And that's what I liked about this game, too, is like when you figure out the puzzles, you're like, ah, oh, you know what I mean? All right. It makes you feel good. I thought I was too stupid. No, I just had to come to the Tower of Knowledge. 724. So is that the code for the safe? You got that? Yeah. Okay, that might actually be the code to the safe. The other one might be, have something to do with the clock tower or something. I don't know, we'll see. So we got two, three combination codes. All right. Let's see. What else? Give us. Oh my goodness gracious me. I'm excited now. I feel like the island's like an open book now with these hints. Place is there, you know that, that little. You think yeah. you don't think it's a time traveling machine? We can go check. No, no, no. Yeah, I think it was. Keep well, go back. All right, but see, like they're keep uh, rotating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is that shack, I think. That doesn't do anything. Now, what about that? Is there anything? Remember that little pool that's got? Remember, there's all these little. Yeah, these guys. These the switches. switches. Yeah, right here. Those animals? Oh. Yeah, they don't. it doesn't give us anything about that. Yeah. Must be later on. So I think we got everything we need out of here. All right, well, let's go do the things we need to do. Oh, shit. Hey, what about... Did we find something in those gears? Uh, yeah. It gave us uh, the code and the time. For the clock. So, so the gears over here, back up here, gave us the... Yeah. Uh, the three codes in the clock. Okay. So let's... Do you want to put it in the time or you want to put it in the safe first? Let's go in the safe first. All right, give me a code. I I think that was the... See, there was there was three There's, different ones. There was the 721, or 724, I mean. Oh, shit. What? Matches. To light the boiler. <laughs> so I don't know if that, that meter should start working. Right. 
Oh, the pressure went up. Okay. What? That switch that's outside there, I know it was... What? What the fuck was that noise? I don't know. I wonder if the pressure's too high. Right. Click on that. Yeah, on the dial up there. Nothing happens. And it doesn't do anything. There's nothing else in that room, but that gets that boiler going. Oh. Oh, shit. Ah. Is there... Maybe just a little bit of pressure, like you said. Is there some kind of a... switch anywhere? There's nothing else in there. I just I don't see anything else that mm -hmm. there doesn't seem to be any kind of switch there, does there? Sweet spot, it's happening. I saw it going up. I'll wait a couple seconds, see what happens. You son of a bitch. Give me what I want. You motherfucker. Oh my god. It moved, you saw it. No, I didn't. Oh, see, it looks like the pressure's all the way up. You son of a bitch. You mother. And I just don't see anything else to... Right? Strange. Right, isn't it? What the fuck? I'll crank it up. This thing's fucking with us. There's nothing, you can't walk around up there at all. just did the thing again. I don't know. Must be like locked or something. Let's uh, let's go fuck with the clock. clock? Yeah. yeah. So what's our time? 2.40. So it's 2. 30, 35. So we, need to, we need to move the big one one time. Every time. 
right, so move it four times. Is that not 240? Oh, yeah, it is. Sorry. The red. <laughs> Way up. Nice. All right. Sounds like that log's doing stuff again. Aha! Uh, the other three numbers. Seven, two, four. Or no, no, it was uh, two, two, one. Oh fuck! Oh shit! All right, hold on. What the fuck? Oh, I only get so many moves. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're just like that. Hit that right, the right switch again. No, not that one. I mean the on that on the machine, the little right, right there. Okay. Hit it again. Okay, that's your two two, and then move, do your left one. Fuck, that wasn't it. Okay, do do your top, do the do the right one again. No, the middle right there. Yeah, the the second switch. All right, there's the first. There's the second. Do that one. Do it again. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah. You're good. We almost had it at the one. Uh, do the do your left switch first. All right, now do your that one. Oh fuck! One, two. So what is it? Three, two, one. No, it's two, two, one. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Right. Two, two, three. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Motherfuckers. All right, do it. Okay. Do that left one. Here, I'll I'll, I'll give you control. Oh, Just click and drag shit. down. So I guess you're holding it down too long and it's taking two of them. Okay, so that log is going crazy back here. Well, shit, fuck. I had a piece of paper there and it wouldn't let me. You're good. Two, two, one. You did it? Holy shit. Whoa, the gear opened. Mm -hmm. Did it give us something? No? Well, something just opened. The gear, maybe? All the way over there? Maybe. Let's, also, well, let's go back to that log. Yeah, I've been hearing him a lot. Maybe he needs more pressure. I don't know. He seems like he's starting to do it and then doesn't. I wasn't there before. What is it? It's a door. We didn't see that before. Well, now take the pressure off. Maybe it'll slide back down. You know what I mean? It is up higher. Because I can't see the treetops where I could before. Right. So I guess you would be right. We gotta bring it down. Look, maybe all the way. Oh shit, what the fuck? It just moved. Hey! Oh, it's, it got lower. 
Didn't it? It did. It's slower. Don't remember it being this finicky. <laughs> Says it has no pressure, so it's still coming down, right? No. It is. Must be like a time thing. We'll go ahead and, and crank it, even though it shows no. Crank it down a little bit more just for the. Because that flame's still going. Go back in and reduce that pressure again. Oh, it just moved. Wait a second. Here. So it keeps coming out. So go back in and re. Crank it back down a little bit. I'm here. He's coming down. Because there's I'm no here. pressure anymore. Okay, go in. I'm in. Okay. Oh, it's going to take us down. Oh, God. Hope we ain't trapped. Whoa. Do, 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 do. Whoa, Let's see hey. what's in that book. Ah, oh, more gas, maybe. Whoa. A different land. Of treetops. Do we go? Well, let's see what all it shows us. The land. It's all shown in the area of that we're going to go to. So books are like travel points, pretty much. I don't know how to save the game. <laughs> oh, wow. Black before time. Well, anyway, go ahead. I guess. Are we there? We're there. Well, I'll be good to hell. All right? Save game. Uh, <laughs> save. All right, cool. Resume. Okay. So in a new area, I think from what I remember, I was here before. So water travels along these pipes and will power these elevators. Huh. Uh, so we kind of got to figure that whole commode out using these little pumps uh, and that's what I know about this area so oh. see. It was a little, is that like a little switch there yeah and then is that of the pump no I'm not sure this is the pump Where are we sending? I guess the elevator's up there, so we're going to go. So is it cutting down there, or is it... Right? And up here, we want it going... That way? Right? <laughs> and then over here... Apparently that did not work. Interesting. 
Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I suppose it looked like a little... Tell me it's already up. Asshole. Can I fucking click on it? Huh. Still hear the water. Don't hear the water. Where the fuck was I? Fucking lost me. Yeah. Alright, so it's not that one. I want this one. So I don't hear the water anymore. So I'm gonna go back over here. What have I missed? No, no, no. Wow, because I hear the water now. Too sure? Any ideas? No, I, you're you're going too fast for me to follow oh, the. Here. I'll let you. Uh, control. I see. There's like something up here. Mm -hmm, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, that's the same thing. Have you been to? This that goes up there. Yeah, that's the water house, right? Oh, look at that little stairway on that tree. Right. I don't know. Yeah, so this is blocked. Maybe this water pump needs something. I'm not sure, because I thought I gave it water before. Yeah, it's still... And yeah, I hear that being powered. But it's not doing anything. I keep getting turned around with those turnarounds. Huh. 
I'm not sure. Yeah, I hear it running, but it doesn't want to go. So my question is, did I power this other little pump here? Yeah, this guy over here. He probably needs some power as well. Okay, so I need to supply him with power. Is there anything that we need to pick up or anything? To... Now you gotta do all those switches, but there is there anything that... I don't think so. My problem is I keep getting turned around really easy. Okay, so there's the pump. It's coming through here. I need to open. Shit. Oh, shit. This guy. I need to open him up. So let me make sure that. So he's, he's open at the pump. Okay. So I need to make water go over here to power that. And that should have did that. Son of a bitch. Would you just look at that? We gotta power this cocksucker. Oh my god. Which I'm guessing water is not out of there. Why would it be routed there? Okay, so we made the bridge so we don't need to route water there anymore. Guess that's where we want. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck, they're turning around. being directed here. And that's not there. So we're gonna direct this back over here. Okay, and go down here. Water's going here. We need to go right. Yep. Keep it going right, and it is. And we need it to go left now. And that should power our boy. Holy shit, what's going on, man? It's totally powered. I hear it going. What's the fucking issue? I don't, uh, not understanding the issue here. And I don't know why the elevators aren't working. That one place where you crossed over that little, you know, where that bridge came up? Yeah. Here's the bridge. It was something, you did that little hand cut. Yeah, and that extended the pipe over there so we could divert water to it. Okay. Thing is, is that I diverted water to the damn thing and it doesn't give a fuck. And now it's not supplying water because I turned to this. And 
Ahí te dejo. And then I can go over here, divert it to the pumps over there, to divert it over there, which it does successfully. However, the motherfucking elevator doesn't do anything. Yeah, it says, uh, oh my god, close the door. Jesus fucking Christ. Patrick. <laughs> Alright, you take it. <laughs> no, I don't even know where I... Well, I can do a book. Oh, that's making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's going on. Whoa. Looks like... We've opened, or you've opened two of the doors. There must be six Wait a doors second, we're back here? Do we get a page? We didn't get any pages. We are supposed to get a page from there. Oh, son of a bitch. What? Oh, how do we even get in there? Through the fucking... Oh, son of a bitch. What? We gotta do the fucking log to even get back there. Oh, son of a bitch. So we were supposed to find a red and blue page in that area, and then I guess that book was the way out. We're still the same. Oh, I just heard it do something. Yeah, so it's all the way down. I guess. Well, just increase the pressure on it. Okay. It's coming up. So I guess just stand there and wait. Yeah. So just chill for a second, I guess. It's slowly going up. You gotta lower the pressure to go down though, still. Damn. Let me see when it comes up. Let me see if I can get in it. How are you gonna get down? Oh my god, it's lowering the pressure. Are you gonna miss it? It's a release valve. Keep tapping it. Huh. Yeah, I guess it only lets you out. So I guess go in there and let it go up a little higher and then turn down the pressure. I guess the button just makes sure you're on base level. Huh. Yeah. I'll go. Let me go back in here and see what it's showing. to that door. So we'll release them. Is it going up or? Looks like it's going up. Let me go back out there and take a look. <laughs> oh, come on, Neil. Yeah, no, it's not you. I, I've been having some issues. Yep, it's going up. Yep, so lower the pressure. So now I need, to, I need to go lower the pressure. Yes, sir. But yeah, each area has a blue page and a red page that we need to find before we return to the main island. Yep, crank it down. Now we're in. Yep. No, 
now we wait patiently. I don't remember it being this finicky. It's going on. Let me turn that pressure down some more. Okay. Yeah, crank her down. Oh, you son. Oh, I know. I was having that issue. I was getting really turned around in the in the water area. Yeah, crank it. <laughs> click, click, click. So you see the fire go off. Until it goes off? Yeah. Yeah, because look at the pressure up there still. Yeah. It's lowered at some. Okay, great, good for It's going down. Here she comes. It's coming. It's still got pressure. I think I still need to. Hold on. Yeah, we're going down. Yep. I'm sorry. Go. Click. Oh, okay. Oh. Safe. Yep, it's going down. Ooh, that was a closey. That was so close. I thought we were going, because I was, I was trying to help, and we, I ended up fucking you up. <laughs> What a peculiar island, would you say? Yes. Alright. Hopefully it stays how we left it. Alright. Yep. I have unfinished business, so I will uh, resume control. This area is mine. Fine. I got That's what you're gonna be. I got a bone. No, I just got a bone to pick with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you are a bone. <laughs> this time, it's personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Land of water and fucking trees. My God, how I hate it here. Look at all that. Stuff. I know there's mosquitoes there. Okay, so we went up there. That's the exit. <laughs> we know now to shut the door, and then it'll go. <coughs> Tree time. <coughs> Red and blue page. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. Okay. Ah. Ah. Getting turned around again. Ooh. It's just you don't know how far you're gonna turn when you turn. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it can turn you all over the fucking place, you know. You see something? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Oh, sorry. But, oh, yeah, right. Is that anything? No, it's just a basket or yeah. something. It's turned upside down. It's a vase. And a spittoon. Like, is that the way we came? I like, literally can't tell. There was something. Was there? Do you want control? I thought it was. I thought it... No. Hmm. Surprisingly empty tree houses. Yeah. yeah. I 
can't get right here? Oh god, I don't know what the fuck. Okay, so this is the one I was in. Go back to it. Here, you go ahead. I'm getting turned around. This map's fucking me up. Let me go back here. Let me get, let me get to the main... Yeah, go for it. Where's the main? The, in the new one, you can walk around freely. And it's kind of easier to keep your bearings of where you're at. I didn't, uh, I didn't anticipate the point of, like, me getting as dizzy. I thought I saw something in one of these. It's the red and blue pages that we're after. I'm aware of that. You're good. I think there's one of each in each, uh, area. I thought that was something. Right. I guess it's just there. Light. It's snot. Can't go out that way. Those. I think what we need is here. I don't see anywhere yeah. else to go downstairs. We're just gonna, Have we been in this one? I'm not sure. Uh, if we can get our wits about ourselves. It's just, I think we're getting turned around in one of the same spots because like, the way it's presented a little bit gets confusing. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm getting turned around really bad here. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm forgetting where I'm at. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything in any of these. Right. So it just must not be the must not be the place. You can't go that way. Well, you can. Well, I guess you can. But is there anything here of value? Uh, okay. At least, at least the place looks nice. And we're not being attacked. If we were being attacked. This game know, would be there's impossible. Got, there's got to be something. Yes. In these places. And I do have hints available if if needed. So I thought well, there might be something in here, but I just don't see anything. And then in there. Pretty looking time. I've been it. Oh, I'm getting lost. So, yeah, I'm getting lost too. So the tip here is to, after you come out of the elevator we left, which we have no idea this how to get back last, to. This uh, is the last building. We want to look for a lever. We're looking for a lever to pull. A lever to pull. Round building at the end. It'll power up. We need to power a second, a second level. So a lever, power second elevator, spire scare staircase. Those are our hits. I don't see any levers. Neither do I. However, there's no time crunch. No way, mate. So we can That's leisurely true. stroll and lose our minds. I still have a. Uh, I still have two hours before I need to go get Oliver. So no pressure. <sighs> oh yeah, no pressure. No pressure. I can take it back over, but I seem to move too. You do, I can't. <coughs> or a lever. Ooh, you found the staircase. Okay. Oh, 
So I'm guessing the lever opens the staircase. And or powers the elevator, I'm not sure. But you did find your way to that. So kudos to you. I could not do that. <laughs> I did not find this. I got no, lost. Where did I just... That's the staircase in the elevator. But we can't get into it yet. Right, we need to find the lever. Without making it let me jump on it. <laughs> see, I don't see anything to... I don't want to get in there. <laughs> it's scary. Well, I mean, I, that'll just take us... We want to stay up here, don't we? Well, yeah, we need to find that lever. Here, let me take a whack at it. Alright. Yeah. Well, at least we found that damn staircase. Right. Okay. Let me try to keep my bearings here. I haven't seen anything that even resembles a lever. I mean, there seems like there's nothing in those shacks. All right. How in the fuck did I wind back over here? Well, go. Is that? Oh, God. See, I want to go there, but it just turns me fully around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's the way we came. Never. Yeah. It'll lead you right back in the same fucking place you was. It'll do it. Holy shit, Grandpa. Oh. Oh, why didn't we see that before? Oh my god, I don't know. Yeah, we'll go ahead and leave it open. Jeez Louise. Well, I don't know why we didn't see that. We're, I'm sure we were in there, weren't we? Oh, yeah, we probably just didn't look at it right or something stupid. Maybe we missed that. Oh, hell, I feel like I'm not going the right way. Yeah. I'm not. No. You go, you go across one of those rope bridges, I think, don't you? There you go. Yeah. Alright, so now we gotta go down here and power this stupid elevator. Lovely. Yeah. So this is that door that wouldn't open before. Okay. So now it just wants power. That's easy. Boom, we gave it power. And now we go up here and get in a bitch. Magic. Try right, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we, bi we big smart around here. Oh my god. Well, we did find the... You know what I mean? We Wait, did. was there something on that? That's the... Oh, okay. I thought that's I thought the smell elevator. It looks like there's a bridge over here. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, shit. I bet Hugh Hefner lived there. I don't even know if I've seen this in the last, last one I played this. I doubt it. A fucking red page, Grandpa. We got it. How do you keep those pages? I don't know. We don't have to go all the way back to that place and put it in that book, do we? Yeah, we sure do. Oh, Lord have mercy. But we got oh, a page. Oh, like some moldy cheese there. What so, else is in here? Anything? I think that's it. What about those... Like, is there anything in those closets? There isn't. Maybe it's not even a closet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
The red drawer is where we got it from. All right, so there's that. We got our red paper brethren. What's over here? This looks fucked. Okay. Cool. is great now. I hope I push the right button, my dear brother. What a very interesting device you have here. I'm not erasing anything important in my Oh, is there a blue page right down there on your left? Holy shit. Remember, he is preparing. Take only one page. What? Dear You're gonna take one page at a time. Bullshit. That's, well, that's what he, he just said. Just take one page. Bullshit. Bullshit. I ain't coming back here. I don't think I ain't. Oh, that was happening again. Does that mean the other page is back where it was? No. Huh. Yeah. That's fucking horse shit. Yeah, that's it. Well. I guess either take the red page or the blue page. That's fucking horse shit, dude. And you're gonna have to take the one page back. I don't remember that. I remember being able to get both pages. Maybe I'm stupid. We'll try picking up that one too. I did. It, it'll put the blue one back where we got it. Okay. But I mean, it's all powered up. I don't. I just. I'm not comprehending. I don't know, the red one seemed more good than the blue one. I don't know. What about you? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know. The blue one was shouting satanic shit at us. What was the red one doing? Do you remember? Talking English. But they both seem maybe evil. I don't know. I, mean, I guess we got the blue page. Whatever. Oof. Right. Priest. Give me the fuck out of here. Oh god, I gotta go through this fucking labyrinth again. Oh god. Make it fucking stop. Did I do it? Oh my god, this one's not powered? Are you, is this, I need the spiral sp staircase. Yeah. Oh shit. Staircase. Well, now I gotta get over here. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What the fuck? Oh. Go to your, 
Uh -huh. You're right. Uh -huh. There you are. Jeez. Oh, man. Jeez, please. I don't know. This is fucking nightmare. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit. So now I need to power the other one. Let's out of here. I mean, that should just power the fucking... All the time machine? Yeah. yeah. Should I go back and get that fucking red page or? Well, we've got the codes for that. Remember we? We do. And do the other one. I guess I don't need to do it. It's right here. Go. I'm trying. Go back in that building you were just in. Okay. You don't want the time Isn't machine? The... Well, yeah, well. Oh, okay. It's that boat. There you go. Okay. They were October 11th, 1984. Uh, 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 1004. 1004 a.m. October 11th, 1984, 1004 a.m. Yep. Says we're here. Oh. Huh. Well, I mean, there's three other dates, too, but... No, I wonder what's different. <gasps> that opened up, too, and we never went and saw what it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. It's a whole place. Okay, hold on. Before we... <laughs> Alright, so that, that's a new area. Okay, where we get pages. Cool. Let's figure out some shit we got before we do all that. So that has nothing to do with the time machine. Why is the, what's different about the time machine? What's the time machine? I wonder if we put all the... Can you put all the dates in? That's a good question. Sorry, I was just perusing around seeing what there was. Yeah. Anything at the... No. I wonder if you set back the... 
time to a certain time if that will unsync. And maybe that's uh, one of the things, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't know. Huh. The spaceship is also another area. So each, each thing leads to different areas where you get pages. And you come back right. here and put them in the book, and that's the game. As far as I know. Right. Um... So you want to do a different time? Yeah, let's... And what was the next one? The next one was one... or uh, January 17th of 1207... or... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what the... Maybe you have to put the first date in first. Okay. It was 117 of the year 1207. <laughs> oh, shit. 1207. And the time was 546 a.m. Making sure here. Okay. All right, so we got that one plotted. It was like a time graph. All right, so that's plotted. It's locked. All right. Pinned in. What's next? Well, do we need to put that second? I don't know if these have to be in order or not. Uh, I don't know. So let's try it now. Let's go ahead and put that one seven or the October eleventh of nineteen eighty four in. Yeah. October. In the what time? Oh, I'm sorry, wait. It was, uh, the time was 10.04. 10. Oh, four. All right, we'll plot that. Plotted. Okay, next. Okay, the la and then the last one was 11.23 of the year 97.91. Of what? Of the year nineteen or ninety-seven ninety-one. Whoa. Okay, what time? Six fifty-seven PM. Thing, does it? It does not. Oh. Fudge my stick. Hmm. Oh, that letter just said count how many. How many shits? Huh. What the fuck? Destroyed book, I guess. These are all destroyed books. Whoa, what the fuck? Ah, oh, that's right. There was another puzzle in the fireplace. Hold the fucking phone. Hold the fucking phone booth. I don't know what the fuck this is. But well, it's, it looked like it started doing them in order. Like they had they had numbers like one through whatever. I'm not sure which one you clicked on. Which one was it? Oh. 
Must remember to bring a mist inking book with me when I return in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. Return to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. Just from a barren desert land with dangerous critters. Apparently, the falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving races. The lake now exists, appears to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of the fallen meteors created this lake due to the circular shape. Now the rest of this world seems like a desert. And so it's because through my years, I found it, it seems, as Captain says, I do find you. Last night, I was awakened by horrible scene. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense, I immediately dipped my head in the nearby steam to cool, stream to cool down. The hot breezes have returned. I with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe a red flame shooting up from the earth. Suddenly the ground began to crack in a huge chasm. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. And then the tumult subsided, leaving only a dull roar. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. Within the surface of the floor, I'll then go behind the final possible reach of the cave and the chasm that have been created. And have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I found the vast underground cave system will take many years to map and explore. I'll look for a safer way to reach the, reach the underground through the chasm wall. See, this age seems to change on its own. I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Cirrus and Akinar and make sure everything is going well, along well. I wonder if those are the red and the blue. When I return, I also have to bring back some tools I'll need for my plan to explore the underground. Once raw materials here is beginning to amaze me, I have returned with some of the complex tools I knew I would be needing. I would return for more basic materials, or it seems as though uh, I'll be able to find everything I need here. Looks like some was blotched out of here. I think I'll be able to have most of my additions to this age completed within one year. So is he building these worlds or something? I, I guess, something like that. I still love working with my hands, whether writing or... I, uh, Okay, okay. Three meters is not enough support. Strong. There's the rocket. One of my most prized inventions. I'm extremely would never imagine to come together. I doubt it could possibly work with versions. Be fatigued. I'm sorry. I'm leaving today in order to bring back Sirius and Magna. I left them in Channel Wood. I think Channel Wood was the treetops. I believe they will enjoy all there is to see here. Leave the meteor. Set off a period of volcanic activity by piercing the shadow crust with the trees. I've become a few. I've just noticed that a large amount of this journalist's curiosity vanished from the pages which I wrote over in the last 18 months. Fortunately. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That's the rocket ship's piano keys. So, one, two, three, four, five. I just want to make sure we that we've got an accurate drawing when we get in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want me to take a picture with my phone? Pardon? You want me to take a picture with my phone? Oh, I never thought about it. Yeah, I'm almost done anyway, so... <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that would have been the easiest way to do it. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Finding some knowledge in here, these here books. Some lore. Okay, I've got it copied, so. Okay. Jeez. Okay. A 
appears to be it for that. So is each book actually a thing? I don't know. What, what about those, the books that aren't? Yeah, they're all just not charred. Guys, you're saying. I've called this age Channelwood. And it is a very different world. That's the world we went to. Though it is exactly how I imagined it, it's still amazing to see with my eyes. Water covers the stage as far as I can see, except for a small rocky island. Elsewhere, there are only trees. Yes, yes, yes. Soon there will be most of the time ago. I'm discover more about this land and its people. But I've read here late and I must rest. I was awakened by this morning by a strange noise coming from the pathway adjacent to the one on which I had slept. I saw a group of monkey like people heading in my direction. They had not seen me yet. I did not feel threatened by their presence. The response to me was one that I would have never expected. After staring at me for a short time, they fell to their knees and began to appear some sort of ceremonial worship. I tried to speak to them, but they did not understand my language. Instead, they indicated through enthusiastic hand motions that I was to follow them. As we walked, I began to notice that the waters below were changing colors. Now, they slipped up some of the stuff. Slowly, uh, subtly, they would change from deep blue to muddy orange, then from muddy orange to beautifully clear. I was so intrigued by the water, I had hardly noticed that we had arrived at a ladder. Climbing the ladder led us to their village, which is about 10 meters above the water. It can only be reached by rope. Ladders uh, that stretch from the lower paths to the village level approximately halfway up. The grand trees. It is very interesting watching these people carry out their daily tasks. Even after watching them for hours, I did not understand exactly what they were doing. At sunset, they motioned for me to follow them. I followed the creatures to the doorway of an enormous hut. Strangely, once inside, I found that the hut appeared even larger than it had from the outside. The walls were garnished with bright metals, and in the center of the hut sat the leader of these people. At least he appeared to be the leader, for he sat a meter off the floor in a thick throne. Ooh, so we didn't see any of these people, and it looked like everything was destroyed. So. Hmm. Maybe red and blue. Um, guards surrounded the strong creature, who was dressed in many exotic, colorful fabrics. Next to the leader sat a very old human, at least to some extent he appears human. His hair, which was only on his face and head, was completely gray, almost white, and hung very long around his frail body. His thin head hung limply by an almost grotesque neck that could not hold its head up to look at me. But what a surprise. This creature could speak my language. Shortly thereafter, I was given a bed with some hand motions that looked to be telling me to go to sleep. I look forward to learning more. Especially the ancient creature's human, but, he's, uh, but he seems almost insane. However, the tree drillers revere him as a god, but treating me now in the same fashion it makes me feel very uncomfortable. It is almost impossible to understand this old man. His voice is feeble, but wild. He has adopted much of the language of the tree drillers. He himself told me that he had not spoken our own tongue in ages. He attempted to explain the history of this place. Following is my best translation of what he told me. Many years ago, humans and tree drillers lived together in this place, which was then a vast island. They interacted very little. The humans dwelt on the ground, while the tree drillers well, lived high above the humans. Occasionally, the island was disturbed by mysterious rumblings, which happened randomly. A sort of tectonic or volcanic action. I suspect that the sometimes slight, sometimes heavy tremors would only last a short time. Then they would stop allowing everything to return to normal. One day, things changed. The rumbling began and grew, grew quickly to unprecedented levels. Soon it became apparent that the entire island was sinking slowly into the ocean around them. Many of the humans died that day, but not before sacrificing themselves in order to stop the sinking of the island. The humans who lived through this catastrophe moved into the trees where they gradually died out, maybe because they were unequipped for such an environment, but I'm not sure. <coughs> this is the story of the old man communicated to me. Although many details are very unclear in my mind, I am especially confused as how the humans saved the island from completely sinking. In fact, I doubt the accuracy of the part of the story. Uh, the island must have stopped on its own, yet the old man believed the truth of the story as if he had been there. And the tree dollars worship him, and apparently all humans, as if they were heroes or gods. The old man ended our conversation today with an event that I will never forget. He began gripping my hands tightly, murmuring something about rest and sleep. He then said we had expected you to, be, to come soon. These actions filled me with sort of immediate dread. With much effort, he stood to his feet. I tried to help, but he pushed me away with more force than I had imagined his frail body contained. The tree dwellers quietly surrounded him with solemn faces. They, they kneeled before him. They walked to each other and placed their hand upon their heads. All the while, he murmured words which I did not understand. Finally, he turned in to me and smiled. Then he closed his eyes and walked out the door and off of the narrow path high into the trees. 
The tree dwellers were silent. They began a procession down the nearest rope ladder. As I was descending, I saw several of them pick up the, the body. He had fallen onto a lower level of the walkway and carried it away. Whoa! He was laying down at the dead end of a short pier-like structure. With the use of some potion, one of the tree creatures lit the pier on fire, and I watched as the flames engulfed. Whoa! What the fuck? Just he just he was like, all right, that was cool, and just fell off the fucking thing. Evidently, he was uh, going down the, one of the ladders and fell. I guess. Yeah, he just closed his eyes and walked the fuck off. And then the flames and uh, the tree on fire and flames engulfed him. As the strange funeral proceeded, the waters around the pier changed to a dull green. This morning at work, finding it hard to even believe the previous night evening's events. Right? What a weird. The water is dull green, as far as I can see now. For some reason, the water no longer shifts, no longer shifts color. As I wander throughout the pathways, the creatures watch me curious to see what I will do next. They are constantly offering me strange objects of affection. I even found food outside the doorway to the room in which I slept in. This unique race of beings, I hope to learn the language soon that I may learn from them. I have lived on this world for three months, off and on, and the tree dollars have shown great hospitality. I'm even beginning to learn this language I return home. So extended stay with my lovely wife and my sons and hopefully return with them. However, I'm sure Catherine will once again refuse. I think this age will be a wonderful experience for them all, and I at least look forward to how Cirrus and Akinar will react to its curious moments. Yeah, I'm telling you, these are the red and blue. Catherine is staying behind as expected. My sons have returned with me, and they enjoy this age very much. They get along very well with the tree dwellers, and picking up the language surprised me fast. I have no doubt that it will not be too long before they can speak with the tree dwellers much better than myself. I'm leaving tomorrow. Let's check on Osmoian. On the Os Osmoan age, Cirrus has suggested that I allow him and his brother to stay. Though the idea unsettles me. I know the boys are growing up rapidly. The hospitality of these creatures is such that I can think of no better place to leave them alone for a short while. So I'll consent to their request. Uh, wait, is Sirius and Arkanon his sons? Whoa. Uh, I warn the boys not to take advantage of the respect the two others um, have for their ideas. They seem to understand my warning, and I have faith they will follow it. Much to my dismay, upon arriving in Everdunes, I learned that Pran and her people are continuing to be menaced by Choctic? What the fuck? I fear that the fear for their survival plan of returning shortly after checking on Cirrus and Akana here. See Everdunes journal for more information. After watching Cirrus and Akana, I believe they I see they are handling things very well. And I think I can put to rest any fears about leaving them in Channel Wood again. Uh, two dollars seem slightly distressed that I'm leaving, but are happy that Sirius and Akhenor are staying behind. I have been gone for over three days, and I have been to many different places. I had to tell Sirius and Akhenor about Pran's death today. Who is Pran? They were visibly shaken, although they only remember her from their childhood. Was that the mom? No, Catherine's I mom. think so. Yeah, I think Catherine's mom. Catherine suggested that it would be wise for Sirius and Akhenor to leave Channel for a while, and I have to agree. They will be returning with him early. I told my sons, yep, Sirius and Akhenar, red and blue might be the creator's son. Uh, returning with me in three days, they spend the entire night telling me of an adventure that they experienced in my absence. It was rather remarkable. It seems they constructed a boat with the creatures and traveled some ways out into the surrounding waters. I enjoy hearing them talk about their adventures and about my own adventures of childhood. I finally understand why the tree dwellers have been given me there are many inks in assisting i write with them looking through some of the past entries i see now that the inks have changed from black uh i thought they were to various different colors i've shown some of the creatures my journal and they laughed and howled i don't know why they have such a sense of humor even now i look through this very colorful journal and i cannot help but laugh myself we will be returning tomorrow with the sons the creatures the last night here they told me they would like to come channel one good i asked them if they can visit other ages alone if they can visit other ages, although I'll have to think over the request, I believe they had proven to me that they're trustworthy and responsible. Catherine also has to help me. What the fuck, future bridge? Something with the windmill. I did see a windmill. Yeah. So whether or not they are ready for travel alone, for now I must give my farewells to the creatures, for I do not know how long it will be until I visit them again. Damn, that was a long fucking book. Oh my god. Oh shit, hey, here's the boat. Oh god. Hey, hey, here's those things. <gasps> right. So that must mean that it aligns with an age. 
relationship to the stars, the constellations. When we were changing the dates, it seemed to change the constellation. Okay. Alright, let me skim through this shit. Emmett was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that's what they were. They were sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. This is where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to nearby rocks as if it was never too far of a distance. One day the person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason. Emmett, Emmett knew this person's branch. Emmett and Branch quickly became friends and hunting for fish together. Branch the simple cave in which he lived on the largest rocks. Soon Branch discovered a place where he decided to live, also on the same large rock. The sun always shone brightly in the world, and the water was always dazzling clear, allowing them to see almost into the deep ocean. The floor which surrounded them. Though the sun always shone, it was far too hot for the boys. The light breeze always came in from the night and cooled the area down. One day, while Branch was swimming, having fun in the water, he saw he noticed another boy swimming. Brought the other boy to Emmett. What to call him? I called him Will. Will was part of the group, and all the boys swam and enjoyed the perfect At least that is the story I was told when I arrived today on the island. Emmett, Branch, and Will decided to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day, it was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing under a large tree on one of the small islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful, yet they obviously still feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave the following day, and I told them that while I was gone, I would make a surprising change in the world. Do you understand? I was expecting to. I still did not fully understand what happened today. I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules as dictated to me by my father. It's one of the boys. I attempted to create a boat by riding it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, and yet somehow the boat became gripped by the rock and broke in half. Although this test did not turn out as I had hoped, I now have answers to a few of my questions that my father never answered. It's for the boat. Okay, that's why the that's why the boat is sank. That's that's the sank boat right there. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoying it anyway, and for that I'm pleased they played on it all day. Even though the boat cannot move, I have enjoyed studying from it. It is a much sturdier platform than the jagged rocks. In the course of my observations, I have learned some very interesting things regarding the solar systems of this age. Submersible ship. The nights are absolutely beautiful here. I have made a note of it and named a number of constellations that pass above me. Also, during the night, I catch glimmers of light from the horizon, which I have not been able to discover. It is created by some natural phenomena or by additional people on far off islands or rocks. I should very much like to discover it. I'd rather suspect it is a The rain day was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavy rain, not to mention the lot of thunder. If rain had fallen here recently. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I have also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light toward the horizon, it might prove my suspicions regarding additional inhabitants. Uh, line down. I know so many of the tools. Construction of a lighthouse. We've worked for three weeks in the lighthouse. The rock that we were building on seems to not be as secure as I would like. I had to alter my plan slightly, but those are the alterations. Posed no real problem. Boys are quite strong. What is the fuck is that? It haven't helped me immensely. Two days, layouts finished. I was amazed. Uh, much of uh, We powered up the generator. Much of was dread. Shine a great light. Stayed on the land. Uh, it was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the boat. Will was getting ready to hunt for the fish. Then Will noticed a man. No. Okay. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbors. I feel pleased to leave the sage. I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with the writing or the art. That will have more profound impact on this world than I could ever have written. I think. Okay. The stone ship age. Okay. Of this, of it, this age is a gift to myself that will wrap up and someday in the future I'll only discover it has changed so much. Then due to surprise. Besides, I have another new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age. And so much planning is done. It's been ten years since I left this age, in which I have since called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes are taking place. The original three boys have grown into adults. There are many new faces that I do not recognize. Branch told me it has not rained for seven years. The cool breezes are back again. They're all very content and have been ser serving me with new foods, showing me things they've discovered. I've seen in many forms around the island. 
Uh, seems they have found gold somewhere. I've seen it in many forms. The lighthouse has been kept in perfect condition. It looks as like they tried their very best to keep it so, yet I noticed that the entire rock it was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder aloud with them what things will be like here in another 10 years. So here's the constellation. So the constellation is the fucking triangle. Uh, the eye is the two. The snake is the... F I guess that. That's the tick. Okay. I mean, you can kind of see it. Yeah, I mean, I guess you kind of see the leaf. Fuck, I don't want to read anymore. Okay. Ball's in your court. Building a fortress? Uh. Black ship attacked. I have no idea. Well, I, I think we've read them all, haven't we? Yeah, the only one I think that immediately helps us, takes us to the spaceship age. Ah, the ship takes us to the stone age. Constellations. Wonder how those work. I think that was this book, wasn't it? Not sure. Uh, that told us of the. three of those. That's uh, all charred. I don't... I don't see any more books, Patrick. This is just the garbled talk.
I mean, there's another page at that channel with the water pumps. I think we grabbed the blue one. Did we give him the blue page? I thought you did. How do I get out of this door? Uh. Nope, wasn't that. Nope. I, I don't know. I mean, let's just kind of click around. We know the constellation has something to do with the... Maybe you're supposed to press a button at each constellation? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, what do we do? The channel wood is... We go to the tree for channel wood. There's a page we can get in channel wood. We can go to the spaceship, because we know the, the keyboard. Uh, whatever's needed from that. And... Let's see... Um, oh yeah, that uh, that one thing opened up. That big gear opened up. And I don't really remember what that was. And also, there's a door apparently by that right entrance by the ship where you start that we didn't even know about. We saw, we saw on that spoiler the remaster. We'll see if that's a remaster only room. Go down that staircase. Holy shit, Grandpa. What? It's right there. What? Oh my god. We were watching a video for the remaster of this, and some just turned left and went right into this, and we're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I've never seen this. I don't know what the fuck this is. It's a button. Whoa. Wonder what that did. Don't know. Settings for dimensional imager. Top topographical extrusion test. What? Oh, hang on. What the? Marker switch diagram 47. Oh, hang on a minute. We've heard about the marker switches before. I brought my pen. Sorry. You're good.
It doesn't look like there's anything else in here besides that. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it just, I mean, all it does is show those things, but... What can you even do with them? Yeah. 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 Since we're going back out here, let's go up to that gear. Are you all right? Oh, there's a book. It's another age. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's get some pages. Solve some puzzles. Maybe it'll tell us what to do with this age. Look at that. Somebody once said in the comments, I think it was my buddy Loki, he said, uh, Mist is made out of the stuff of dreams. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I kind of like it. Because this looks like something you would see in a dream, like this whole area. We're here. We're in this book. We're in a book and a book. We're in a bookception. I don't think I've been to this age. I was, I was in two other ages. I think I went to the spaceship. But I, I've never been to this one. I don't know what that is. find something around here that has some pictures on that shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a shit ton of them, too. Oh, yeah, it just yeah. keeps going. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I bet there's some... Yeah. And that's like seven or some shit. A lot of different combinations. Yeah, there is. seem to do anything. That age is like that mechanical age. Is that why it's in the gear and all the ships are always coming? Might be. Yeah. 
the bird. Can you click on the bird? Ooh. Wind it up. There's the ship and the rocket. Hmm. Is that Catherine? Probably. Fine specimen of a woman. Anything more in the mystery continues. All right, that's the way we came in. Thought I saw another passageway. Yeah. Ooh. Door with red boot on. See if the Did you just do something right? No, I just flipped it. Yeah, I lifted that up. Yeah, see, it oh, didn't go can... red. It went red when you did it the first time. I think you did something right on accident. Yeah. Now, can you press it? Huh. Oh, but you know, doesn't that look like one of those symbols on that? It does, it does. But I think that's red. I think that's... Because it never goes red again. Uh -huh. You know? That's what I'm saying. Poodle, I don't see anything Hang else on. in here. I don't know what that. One second. All right, keep talking. I said I did. <laughs> Got my cord caught. Don't do that. I boosted your audio <laughs> a little bit since you seem to be quiet in Resident Evil and uh, missed. So I boosted you a little bit. Maybe there's something different out here. Oh, press that button again. Could you go through that? Does that go somewhere? Yeah, it's not white anymore. Oh, I'll go ahead and go this way now. Yes, you've opened something. Mm, you've opened the elevator, Grandfather. Oh, you're leaving the elevator. Am I going too far? You were in it. Yeah, click in that jewel. Yep, and then the button's on the left. Yes. The buttoning. Oh. Up, maybe? Huh? Then boom, a jump scare. Maybe it just goes up. And then if, when we get up to the top, then... Is this a different elevator? <coughs> Can you go up more? I don't oh. know. Hmm. What? <laughs> oh, great. 
Eight. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -huh. Whoa. Huh, now what? Gears, you're turning gears down there. Well, that wasn't it, I guess. There's a mirror where you can see the gears that you're turning. So if you click on, yeah. Well, see, I, I did both of those knobs. I think you gotta spin it because when you turn them, you see gears spinning in the corner. Might start with the first one. Huh. Okay, can the other one turn now? No, that one doesn't want to go. So mechanical. There's nothing else. Up here. Just those. All right. Well, I guess we'll come back. Can't go on. On that. And that just that just goes when you do that, it just goes down to that, or just up to that. I think we need to find learn something more. I don't see anything else there. What? So. There you go. We're trying to solve uh, these puzzles on this island and figure out what's going on. There's nothing. This doesn't go anywhere. Great grandpa's play. Oh, there's oh. no bad guys, just puzzles. Well, there is. There was something else. There was another little hallway. There's not. It's just shadows. Oh. Look, there's more. I don't know. Watch. It's a puzzle. Caliber. Fortress rotations. So you rotate the fortress? Or not? Oh yeah, so isn't there like a platform out front? I guess you're aiming that platform to places? I guess, I... I guess so. I don't know. I don't know either. See, there's this, this thing goes down. When you're not near a red, I think, I think the reds are points of interest, maybe. Hmm. Let me see if there's any other. Yeah, I think we're facing different. Maybe. We'll see. Well, 
Oh. That's really nice. Oh. Ah. What? Okay. Okay. I'm still here. Okay. Wait a minute. That doesn't do anything. I don't see anything. Other than this thing. Fortress Rotation Simulator. Turns it. Put it in this one. Yep. And yeah, I think if you go out front, it's uh, maybe doing something. Well, I would just look to see if it would stop at that. It won't. Just hold it there. Say hi, Grandpa. Hi. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? He's trying to figure out what this oh, thing does. How do you hear that time? I, it I did hear a bink. I, I did hear a bink. Okay. Okay. That? We're trying to figure it out. What are you doing? Trying to figure out this puzzle. I don't Hi, know. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, it's okay. I'll, yeah. Okay. What do you think? Okay. What do you think? And you can just yourself. Okay. That's yeah. Funny. Poodle. What did you say? I said poodle. What? Don't say that word. Hey, Daddy, it's a kind of dog. Me. A poodle's a kind of dog. He's like, whatever. <laughs> He's a full on me. 
spent. We've looked at everything in here, tried pressing those. Play that bird the moves, but we don't know why Did you go outside now that you changed the direction of the place? No. Yeah, you're probably pointing at a different place now. Or maybe you pointed it back at the original spot. <laughs> yeah, that's... Well done. Yeah, see? It's on our, it's on rails. I think these have something to do with it, but Well, go go back and do that thing and rotate it uh, to another red and uh, see where it takes you. What do you need? <coughs> I got a chicken sandwich too. Let me know. Hmm. That's, hmm. That's that. This looks like it's supposed to open, but I think some of it has to do with. Okay. Now see. Well. Uh, I wonder if you have to rotate it to where it goes to there. Yeah. And that looks like it's to its left, so it'll be the left red. And there's probably something behind it, likely, as well. So left red and then bottom red are, are candidates for uh, search. This is where I miss the remaster, where you could just look around normal. Oh, there it was. Oh, was it back there? Yeah. To the left. What the fuck? It's like totally behind you. It's weird, I don't know why they're not showing it. I totally just saw it. There it is. To the left. Oh, okay. It's right there. Okay, so it needs to go to the right. Yeah. Because that's how we walked in. Yep. think you gotta pull it back till you hear the ding oh or that that works too there we go all right let's go see you with all the hubbubs of oog No, this is this is the same thing. Let me get out here and look. It hasn't gone any. This hasn't gone anywhere, but I don't know. Was it usually supposed to press the button or something to like actually happen? We haven't seen anything more on this. We know when you need a tip. Yeah, I'm I'm stuck. I don't know where. Oh, we've been in those three rooms in there. Hold on. This looks like it needs to open.
And there's nothing this okay. way. So there's five ages in mist. Uh, unlocking the ages gives people a glimpse into the why the island of mist exists. There are ways to get an ending in mist relatively quickly, but most players will want to beat the entire game to understand the complete story of the island of the sea. Ugh. Okay. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, where's the thing? Alright. Players need to do several things while they are in the mechanical age, starting with the below. Press the red button on the marble chair. Grab the red page and read the note behind the trap door. Red button in the marble chair. In another room, press the blue button. Grab the blue page and pull the lever on the wall. Uh, let me go this other way. Uh, and there's a downstairs where there's a generator or a water pump. There's a lever. Well, here's this. Puzzle. Here's this room. There's a red button. There's a yellow, green, and a red. It said something about sitting in the marble chair. I had it. I don't see a marble chair there. Yeah, we're doing some mess. What's up? There's no marble You're chair good. down there. We're fucking stuck. Uh, it says ride the elevator up and follow the steps. Press the orange button. Press the center button. Why are you yelling? What? Was it good? Why'd you like it? You got to. Uh, walk. Press the center button in the elevator. Walk back out of the platform. Push the left one up and then hold the right one up to activate the gears. Next, lower the lever. The left lever and it will make a sound. Each sound denotes a different part of the... Okay. The shit on the elevator is it actually turning. So that's the simulator. And then what we were doing actually turns the fucking whole structure. Oh, okay. Uh, so basically... But... Alright. But babe. Alright, so we go. So when we get up there, we gotta push that up. I love you. I'll be able to show everybody, okay? Just a couple more hours. And do that for about three Make seconds. Make cheeky sandwiches. Love you. Love you. I get a different walkthrough. This one's very uh, vague. Okay. Uh, I can't remember which. All right, you're live on an island with a gangplank running to a large fortress. You'll note that behind. Remember it said something about in the, uh... That elevator. But, uh, that, uh... Oh. That, that console where we started with the four dials on it. A, a yeah. basically picture combination lock. That's what we need, uh, to crack to get, uh... To get to the linking book back to what this. Did, back to what did it say? It said when you sat in the... Sat, it said sat, sit in the... Marble chair. Press the red button. Got it. Exploring the interior fortress will lead you to two rooms. By now, you should be familiar with Cirrus and Arcanine's respective styles. In Cirrus's room, there's a telescope, which will be needed for an achievement. A button hidden in the chessboard opens a side panel to a hidden room. Is that a good enough hint for you? No, I'm. I was. I was looking. I wasn't listening to you. Ah, you some gun. So these are the sun's rooms. Um, 
There's a button hidden in the chessboard in Sirius's room where there's a telescope. Yes. Okay, here's the... Is that the chessboard down there on the ground? Yeah. There's a button. It says, find that bad boy. In Akinar's room, a similar button on his throne leads to a torture chamber. I have a button hidden in the chessboard opens a side panel to a hidden room filled with treasures and the red page. In Akinar's room, a similar button on his throne leads to a torture chamber with a blue page in here as well. I don't see anything on here, Patrick. Okay. Let me see. That's the only chessboard I see. Ah, quit it. Calm down. Quit it. There's, there's nothing on there. Just got that where that snake jumps out. I'm getting confused. We're just in there and there's we flip that bird. Did we click on that picture? I don't think, uh, yeah, there's nothing in that picture. <sighs> yeah, that's all it says. A button hidden in the chessboard. I know, but we've... Something about sitting in the blue chair and hitting a yeah, some well, kind of button. Well, yeah, what well, fucking button? What button do you see? I don't see a button anywhere. Oh. And there's that simulator. We already know what we need to do. Yeah, I don't wanna... Oh, it also tells you the sounds. So the simulator. So when you reach it, you know how each sound is different. Yeah. So basically, if you go to this and we hear that sound. So if we hear, we know we're there when we go to the top of the elevator. All right. Well, let's go to the elevator. I, I pressed everything in there that I could think to press. I don't understand. I don't either, Patrick. Why the guide would lead us astray. But... That's how you get to the pages, it says. It's just the whole reason we're here. Uh. 
There's the elevator. Ah. What are you doing? Why? I told you I'm. Did I tell you to stop slamming doors? I did, didn't I? Did I tell you I'm trying to do a show and you need to be quiet when I'm doing a show? I did, didn't I? So what's the problem? That's cool. Me too. Quit disrupting society, dude. I'm I didn't. Hey, Patrick. Yeah. I didn't hear a noise when I did that thing for like three seconds. I probably didn't do it. Yeah, don't hit that button. Uh, hold on. I'll read the guide, but the guide's not helping. Yeah. It says. Yeah. Yep. And now when we went down there, we we did that. First, move the left lever forward, and then push and hold the one to the the right one to rotate. If you go to the count of one, two, three, or two and change, that's basically enough to push it 90 degrees. Either way, when you let go of the second lever and reset the left one to its down position, the tower will lock to whatever right lock to whatever right angle you are closest to. It'll also play a sound to let you know which direction you're facing. You north, me. north is a clink, south is a cowbell, east is an exhaust, and west is a spin. Do I need to hit that red button? That's to exit. Oh. I didn't hit that red button. Do I need to? Yes. Oh, come on. Did it? You suck. Ah. And this should be the combinations that we need to get out of here. But we don't have the pages. Is that your finger or It's your finger. Oh, I've got to... Oh, look, yeah. We've got to go back down there, I guess, to the... And do the, and just do the two buttons to the right. That and that. You know what I mean? Yeah, half moon, spike moon, spike moon, yeah. half moon. Yeah. That's only two though. What the fuck? Well, we can't get across. Well, now we gotta. <laughs> oh shit. We have to go back in there and turn that. Oh fuck. 
back to the... Dawn of time. What was the thing down there? Oh, I don't that know. That was just to rotate this, right? That one. And... So now we gotta go back, we gotta rotate it back the way it was. For approximately nine seconds, I guess, to get it back to... Yes. What the fuck? You didn't step out of the elevator. You stepped out of it? Yeah. I thought it auto-stepped. No, you have to hit that middle button, oh. and then it starts dinking. God damn. Hit that middle button, and then... Yeah, and then that door will close, and it'll go down. Now, you're going to have to push that one... And then you're going to have to do that one for about nine seconds. Okay. That sounds like a clink, right? Yeah. So now we should be able to go back across. God bless it. <laughs> With our half a coat. Go, yeah, go back across there and just do the... That's I don't the, know how you get those front ones to the... But that's just the, to the linking book. That's, this is how we escape. We need the red and blue pages to... Because uh, I guess we're bringing back... Serious interacting or whatever. What the fuck? This is different. Hey, hey, hey. So it's well, that side moon, is that, and the three. Okay. Okay. So you remember this side? We so. we must not have moved it the right. No, we <laughs> evidently we didn't move it enough. Afro long spikes. Right. Well, here, and I'll just write them down. Spike moon and then left half. Moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the left is that thing. And then the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Worthless. And then the other one was the spiked moon. Yep, moon above spikes and then a half moon. A half a moon. Build in. Right, so we did. How far did? How far more do we need to move it? Who knows? Go, go back out. Go. Never mind. Yeah, I like the left hander. So that's just gonna shoot the shit. Fine. Yeah, because maybe we overshot. Well, I know Clink is in the north, so how about this? something? And we know. We know that was well, whatever it was. Now step out. There you go. <laughs> that, um, <laughs> I think that's, yeah. that's the Just, one we did before. No. You think this is a, a new one? Sound. I think it is. Just hit the red button and we'll find out. It. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. into the drink a whole bunch of nowhere all right well, so we're going yeah, we'll let you go and won't let you go anywhere so, so we're we need going to... left so we just need to go left one more okay all right so just a little bit more what do you remember what was down in that in the basement there it just seemed to summon the elevator really. the elevator available i don't really know though
<laughs> that was the cowbell. I can't remember what the cowbell. North of meant. East of West. Fuck, I don't know. It's something. <laughs> oh, God. That's how it hurts. <laughs> Take four. Okay. Well, this will get us out. Okay, we go where it's got. Yep. Fuck. Come on. Yep. Long spikes. Fuck. Ah. There it is. And then Afro. Yep. All right, that's the way home. Lord have mercy. That's the way home, but we need a book. I think, so I might be wrong, but this is Sirius's room. And then this is Akhenar's room. You know what I mean? The vibes are completely different. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know about who you might want to bring back, but hey. I, I think we got the blue page last time and that's this and that's uh this guy so yeah and that's just that snake that comes out huh I've, I've pressed on everything in there it said then the one thing it said hit you know sit in that chair and hit the blue button. I don't see any. All right. I don't I don't see any button. Anyway, what? Oh yeah, never mind. I don't see shit. When you press on that on that little cabinet, it just. Uh. You gotta wait for this thing to boot up to be able to even leave it. We need a fucking page. And there wasn't a, uh, there wasn't another chessboard. And it's weird because this one you can even come to, you know what I mean? I know. I um, went all over. Ah, uh, we were probably supposed to look through this at some point, maybe see something. Probably. Now the only thing, that go, hey, slow down. There was that bird that moves its head and stuff. I wonder if you have to move that bird a certain way to... Yeah, that bird right there. See how it moves its head one way or the other? Yeah. What? Well, I, just, I mean, like, turn it to the side, or like point to the side, and then look through the telescope. Stopped. These light up, but why? And I can look at that, but why? And same over here. Why? Go through the telescope again. Nothing seems to do anything. Yeah. And the guys like press the buttons. What fucking buttons, my G? Hey, turn that. Turn that bird just a couple cranks and not a bunch of cranks. Right now, now go look in the in the telescope now. See if that does anything. Nope. And have him look the other way. Does he stay? He's not staying. Oh. Uh, well, screw that bird then. Huh. But I, it's funny that that glass is sitting there, but I I don't have any idea what it does. I don't think it does anything. Right. I I touched it before too. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. 
That looks like a little button right there, doesn't it? Yeah. But alas, it is not. Huh. Very interesting indeed. What a little crock of bullshit. Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, he did. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Did we ever go down there? And this is. Well, there's a book. Yeah, and that's how do we leave, but we don't got. We don't got what we came for. I guess I can't go down there. I don't know what to fudge that is. Huh. Did we find anything when we went over to that other little place? Just the, uh, codes. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, the walkthrough says it's just... The pages are just in here. And that red button, that just led down to... Well, what? Where was it that we went down? Oh, that was in that... Right on the, like, the wharf there at the beginning. Right. Yeah, that one, when it was red, then we could get in the elevator. I don't know, man. Hmm. Do you know? I'm confused. No idea, sir. Swamped. <sighs> we are now recording. And I am giving you keyboard and mouse control. Yep, and unmuting that shit. And alright. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Mist. What's up, Grandpa? Nothing about drop my controller. <laughs> you don't need a controller. This is a point and click. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Uh so we were here. This is this is the two sons rooms. So whoever wrote the Mist book, uh he had two sons. From what I'm understanding, and this is the this is the book age, whatever the fuck, where they live. And one of the one of the sons you can tell is like an explorer, and the other one room is like a torture chamber. And I think the blue dude is the dude with the torture chamber, and I think the red red page book is the dude who is the explorer. But we don't know what happened to the dad, uh, and we don't know what happened to the sons. Well, I guess we do. They're in those books. But, uh, I think we had pretty much solved this. We were turning the thing around last episode, uh, and we figured out the puzzles of the place, but I don't think we were able to find any pages here. And I think it was telling us to, like, click on the chair or something, or, like, a gym. I'm not sure. But what I figured we'd do is... I figured we'd just click around today. You know what I mean? So go ahead and click around. You should be able to. No bueno? Yeah, there you go. I figured we'd just explore today instead of looking up a guide, you know? We just kind of... Mm -hmm. We just kind of relax. See what's up. Like the choice of wallpaper. Yes, yeah, so this is a dude's room, you know what I mean? I feel like we've literally clicked everywhere in here. I can't even remember what we were looking for in here. Alright, well the name of the game is to go into each age, find puzzles, solve them, and at the same time, find a, a red or blue page in order to, uh, you know, basically bring home and put in a book. And I think what we're doing is either we're bringing both back or the game is trying to emphasize that we're only supposed to bring back one. I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't spoiled it. That's what I kind of like about this game is that it has that sense of wonder and that's what makes me interested to play it. You know? What is going on? What's happening?
Yeah, there was that bird. And then there's uh, oh, uh there's the simulator, which you can kind of get a simulation of what turning it's like. In each like 45 degrees or something like that, points to a different island that you can walk out to. Oh yeah. the music too I'm I'm definitely interested in checking out the remake if we uh if we if we beat this and really enjoy it so yeah his throne there so this is the yeah the simulator here Basically, I don't know if you remember this from last time. Mm, kind of. Right, that like primes it. Yep, and then when you when you pull that back, it should lock in. Yep. And that's, that's so, and there's another contraption somewhere where it's this for real, except you don't get to see the visual, you only hear the sound. Oh, this is the actual, the actual boy down there, down the stairs. I think you can press that button to... Oh, yeah, Get rid of it. Ah. Ah, oh, it just loops around. I thought it was an elevator for some reason. No, it didn't yeah, this is the other brother's room. Huh. Vast vibe difference. He does not pass the vibe check. And like, I I don't know if we're bugged or anything, but it's I think the brothers' pages is in. I see, we're actually turning that boy. All right, so we're kind of hey, are we clocked dead left? It looks a little crooked, doesn't it? I don't think so. I, I don't know what you're looking at. Oh, you see like the little circle in a circle there on the left there? Uh, the, wh Over. the white here. I'll just... This guy? Oh, yeah. When you turn that, I think that's where the, the pole is facing. Yeah. Not sure where it's supposed to be facing. Right. So, if you go outside, it, you'll see that it's, it's literally turning us, and we're just right. Pointing but I'm not rocks. sure where we need to be on. Oh yeah, right. I think I think what it was, what we got stuck on last time, is that we had gone to the other islands and gotten the answers to the riddles, and I think we had solved whatever was here because it it lets us leave. We know the return home code. That lets us get the, it's called a link book, the books that take us in between these places. These ages, as they called. 
Uh, so we've mm -hmm. unlocked the link book. We can go home. We've beaten the puzzle here, as far as my understanding. I see that there's more things, though. But, I think we've beaten the puzzle, but we haven't retrieved a page. So, I think somewhere in the brothers' rooms, there's something we're not understanding. Okay. Huh. Huh. But we can also leave here and go check out another age, if we're stuck. Because we have unlocked- yeah, and that's- that should be the link book out. Wasn't there something down here? Oh, if you press the button, that might be the link book. Mm -hmm. Something. Oh, see how that's... Yeah, I that little... that white thing that was down there beside the control, see how it's like this? I think we already saw this. I think if you hit the button, I think that might be right. Yeah, cool. So that's how to leave. Scaring me. Wasn't this like where we started out? Yeah, and then we read all those books, and then we found that there's a key piano sequence that we can play in the rocket ship to start it. So we, oh, yeah. so we can go to that age as well. Oh, I still have that. And then if you go in there, and then click up at the top, like up here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Here, I'm gonna drive for a second. Is that like the ceiling of this? Yeah, so you can go here, and then, yeah, right here. In the book, there was patterns. And, it, yeah, I'm not sure what that does either. So there's that, I don't know what that does. And then, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, our, the, our red and blue books. Yeah. there. I think down to exit. But you get that every now and then. Oh, yeah. Where do we need to go now? Uh, so it's pretty much just explore and figure it out. So we can go outside. I think you gotta touch the picture to go outside. Or it's already open or something. Uh, and we can go to the rocket ship. Uh, we we also we know we we did get some dates I think from we don't know what this puzzle does yet we did get some dates from the tower you know how we rotated that tower behind us right uh, we did get some dates for maybe that time machine looking ass thing back there and then there's a piano sequence in the uh, yeah we don't even know what those does. to my ears. Hmm. 
I'm guessing some form of melody. Sounds like a Ring. pyrotechnic production. Yeah, it's wanting some form of melody. I wonder if those books have anything. This was that one that we had the Is this the one that we had the little diagram for? Yeah, I think I think both of these answers might be in those books in the middle there. been in there. Yeah, that's like the time machine thing. Sounds ominous. I don't know if that takes us to the woods. Yeah, okay, that takes us back to that age. Mechanical age. So do we need to go there? Or? Uh, so I don't know where. So we can go here again and try to... This is where we just came from. This can We can go here and try to find those two pages in the brothers' rooms, or we can go to the books in the, the main area where we was, down, down up there find out what piano or melodies we need to do to start the rocket ship or we can explore more and try to figure out how to do that puzzle in the middle well I don't know where we need to go to find those pages oh, right here. yeah so there's some non-destroyed books and if we skim through them we might see a piano light. yeah so just click right on the page Keep clicking, and we might get some puzzles. Okay, so this is the treehouse place, the channel wood. We've been there. We already solved that one, so keep clicking next. Yep, keep going. That's it? You don't go any further? Alright, so click out of it. Yep, click a different book. That was that book, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yep, rinse and repeat. Okay. Something about a lighthouse. The stone ship age. Okay, this is an age we have not been to. Eight constellations. Okay. So this might be... This is looking like the puzzles out in the front there. This might be how to get to that age. Hang on, let me... Okay. So how do you well, how do you set the constellation to the sun? Remember out front, wasn't there a bunch of? Yeah. So literally, right as soon as we walk out this door, we got that sunken ship, and then we got these symbols as buttons. But what I don't know is how they correlate with stars. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not getting that correlation.
Yeah, this is. Looks... Hmm. It's a thunk. Ah, so hold on. Let's see. Do, do, do. Alright, so we walked around the island, we found a note talking about going around, counting all those little marker switches, putting them on the on position, which is lever up. Go to the four chamber beside the dock and put the number of marker switches in a panel beside the stairway. What? What are you what about? I was just taking pictures of these just so that So there's there's eight of those switches. Okay. Alright. Let me drive for a second. If you don't right. mind. Uh, hang on just one second. Ah. Uh, 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 Damn it. Uh, uh, hang on a minute. That's a book. I gotta grab the wrong book. Hang on, let me see what I got last. Okay, there's no one more to do. Wait, doesn't that kind of look like a leaf? That that constellation? Yeah, kind of, yeah. If you go left, do the constellations match the picture? Oh my god. They kind of do? Arrow. I kind of see the flamingo, maybe. I don't see the I don't the the butt. Yeah, see that's up. beak, you know, and then. Yeah, maybe they yeah, have the tail. Okay. Oh that's my god! Cross. Oh my god! <laughs> that's the bug. Okay, the serpent. Snake. It's happening. Uh, I'm seeing it. And then the hook. Okay, but how do we? The anchor. What does it mean? Alright, but I think... I think I just figured something out. Oh no. May I? Yeah. Okay, so... When we started the game, right? We came out here... Yeah, there's these signs out here. And it's all like... Catherine, I left you a message of importance in the four chamber beside the dock. This is the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island. So, marker switches, so... There's one. And it says they all got to be set to up. Okay, it's two. I think there's one down at the very... Well, there's probably one there by that building, isn't there? Three. It's a... There's one Four. by the rocket ship. Yeah, I, I just got him. Oh, okay, what... Well, there's five. Ah, where's the other ones? Okay, hold on. Is, is there one down by the dock? Yeah, there should be. Did we get him? Was that six? Yeah, I think... Well, I think so. Yep. Alright. Oh. There's seven. Eight. And there's eight. Okay. So there's eight things. So then we found out about this guy, right? So we go down here. What the fuck? Oh my god. Erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Okay. Are we Catherine? Or are we the wife? Evidently. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, some shit did go down. Oh, you already looked at that, didn't you? Yeah, so that was Atris, uh, the writer. Okay. Where did 
Where'd you find that little... What? It's right there. Gizmo. It's the little white panel right there. Here. And then I, know, but and then I hit the green button on the top left there. Very dim little boy. Oh, I see it now. I... Where do these, do these show up in that pool? Is that? I think we had to, that was how many switches there are. So I had to put eight switches. Holy shit. Yeah, I think it's telling you switches. It's giving you a hint. Which I think, I think that's all we had to do here. Okay, I was just curious what those other things were. You're good. Uh, it says... So it says in that mechanical age where the brothers' uh, rooms are, it says go to yeah. one of the main rooms in the fortress until you face one of the thrones. And you, you, there's a door behind the throne. So yeah, up there. Behind you. Where are you going? I'm... I don't... Oh, I know where we're going. I know. That was up here, wasn't it? Yep. up the hint and it says there's doors behind the throne. Okay. I know the truth, you can't hide it from me. <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch! What did you press to get in there? I... <laughs> hold on. Oh shit. Alright, let me get out of here. So I was over here, and it was right here. I was just clicking around, and I clicked on this wall, and it went up. That, All right, that, well. Yeah, that son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Look, I was gonna say, click on it. Can you click on that chest that was there? Oh. Oh. That's all that does. Oh. That son of a bitch, we got a blue page. I don't want his pages though, he's bad. <gasps> that motherfucker. Torture chamber. That motherfucker. In his, in his room, bro. How do I get the red page though? Uh, probably behind, behind the other Yeah, throne. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this painting, awfully sus, you know? Same with this chessboard, you know? Wasn't there supposed to be something about that chessboard? Yeah, board? they said something about the chessboard for sure. But we never could find anything with it. Yeah, and I feel like I'm, I've been pretty thorough with the clicks. Jimi Hendrix with the shits. Yeah, sorry. What? There's a. Is there, I wonder if there's anything with those three lights. Oh. 
I'm, I'm clicking the shit out of it. Well, go back over by the throne. Okay. I don't know. I, just, I don't want to release that blue dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like he, he seems like bad fucking. All right, we're sitting down. He just, he's, he's bad business, man. <laughs> I ain't trying to release that shit in the world. What about? Did you click on that glass that was there? I, I have. For those, he said there's those two. Yeah, like, yeah. What about that gong? Did you? Yeah, I tried to keep switching between, and then that just sits me. He's telling me something. Let me, let me sit in this throne. Is this the one? Is this the room that has that bird in it? Yeah. Yeah, just I would prefer greatly to not wait. Nothing, eh? You have nothing for me. Yeah, see, that just seems funny with that. You know where there was that um, that other door opened. Yeah. Maybe you just have to put that page in. I guess. I mean, a page is a page, Dagnabbit. But at the same time, I don't want to release that dude. That dude is... I know. No brain. No. I wonder if he trapped both of his sons because he didn't know who did it or something. Oh, my God. Scared his tits off. Me. 